Hey, okay. I'm getting ready to use this tool and I thought let's just talk about it. So here's what I have. So I'm framing up I'm framing up these steel studs and they have uh, these holes and guides for running your wires, right? Okay, so but where my outlet boxes need to be um, basically you can see it's the same height as those holes and it and it's actually covering up the hole, okay? Not good. So what I need to do is I need to cut a new hole above the box. So there's the box, there's the hole. And then once the hole is cut, my, my guide here, it's able to go back in there. Okay, I'll show you that. Okay, so that's what we're ending up with is you know a regular uh, wire guide right above my box that way i can come across here from the stud the wire is going to go this way through the uh, new hole that i just made and it's going to go into the back of the box okay and then i'm also going to have a double outlet so i'm going to put one facing the other direction as well uh okay so here's the other outlet and right above it where I've drilled this very small hole is where I want to put um, my, my wire guide back in that stud. Okay, so I have the tool. It's a, it's a die cutter. Okay, so here's one side. And then here's the cutter with the teeth on it. And what that does is that just gets pulled down inside. Um, that The cutter gets pulled down inside that die and it's gonna sandwich the metal in there and it's gonna cut it. Okay, so this tool has a shaft and it threads in there. Okay, I could take it out, but I'm just showing you that it threads in there. Okay, that, you can put different ones in there. And so the way this goes is, and you can, no, you can't put either one on first. This one has to go on first because the other one, this one's not threaded. Okay, that slides on there like that. And then the cutter threads on, okay? And then when I pump the handle, okay, this is also the CP180. I got this off of eBay. I'll have to look it up and tell you. Okay, as I pump the handle, what it's going to do is, See it going in there. It's going to pull the cutter into the die. The first thing you have to do though is I have to have a hole that that rod will fit through. Okay, so that is uh, like a 5 8 rod. We're just going to drill like a 3 quarter inch hole. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so for that, I have a step drill. And I have a little can of lubricant for the drill. Why not just drill the whole thing with the step drill? And the answer to that is just the fact that uh, I don't have a big enough step drill. Okay, so Okay, so I put the ram through the hole. I'm going to hold the camera. Okay, I'm going to take the sharp end of the cutter head and I am going to thread it on there. Now keep in mind, if you're not filming uh, for a YouTube channel, you can do this in about a minute. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, there we go. The cutter is on there. I'm just going to pump the handle on the CP180. It's going to pull on the ram and it's going to cut out a really nice hole. Okay, here goes. Okay, there's the hole. All right. Then we take the hole and we're going to take our wire guide and we're going to put it in the hole and lock it in there. Okay. That job is done.